Welcome back, folks, to Snow Runner. Uh, I have completed all of the tasks now here in Alaska, and I am ready to move on to uh, Russia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ate some pizza a few minutes ago, and uh, it's not agreeing with my throat. Uh, but before I move on, uh, what I've done, I've went ahead and uh, there's a couple little things that I did. Uh, some of the timed events, got those out of the way. And I went and got all of the trailers and sold them, collected all my vehicles. And you will notice up here there's a Scout fuel carrier. And there's another one down here. This one, for some reason, it will not let me sell it. It says that I can't sell a trailer that uh, is needed for a mission. <clears throat> so I've completed all the missions, completed all the tasks. I don't know why that, why I can't use it. And this one I'm actually going to leave here because uh, this area right there is where I can do the weather uh, challenge. <clears throat> so let's take a look at it. It's the weather forecast. This is the one I failed at the last mission. I couldn't figure out how to do it, and I finally realized I was bringing a potato gun to a cannon fight. The Western Star is good. The Western Star can't do everything. So I needed some big guns. So I went and got this vehicle, and I did the mission in just under, or just over uh, seven minutes. <laughs> So I went and did it again and got under seven minutes and did it a third time. You can see my best time is 6.54. Did it a third time and got a 7.01. I also went and got the P-16 and tried it. The problem with the P-16 is that when I tried to make the curve up there, both times that I tried it, I ended up flipping the P-16. So I believe it could do it if it could make the turn. And I believe with a little bit of practice, I could get it to do it. Uh, but it actually made it up the hill a little bit faster than this one did. <clears throat> and I believe with the short wheelbase, uh, the last two parts of it, uh, it would do a lot better. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to show you the path that I took in case you want to use it. And what I did was, uh, when you get over here to your last one, it disconnects the trailer, and the trailer stays there. And you can actually just drive back. And that's why I left the fuel tanker there. You can fuel back up. Come over here, get yourself back into position. And it should, when you hit accept bring the trailer back and you can go ahead and hook up to it <clears throat> so let's get ready and accept it and I misjudged the position of the trailer so that's going to cost me a few seconds here So that probably cost me about 10 seconds because I misjudged where the trailer would be. So the route I took is right around this tree here. Hopefully I won't flip this. I have not flipped this vehicle yet. But like I said, I flipped the P-16 twice. <clears throat> I 
if I can go up. Nope, can't go up on high. There's a few more seconds. So right here when I get to the rocks, that's where the P-16 had the issues. Uh, it did not like going around there. Try to go around that little tree, it will slow you up. So it's best to just run it right on over. There may even be a better path for this, a better way to do it. But like I said, three times I was real close to the seven minute mark. Twice over it, once under it. There's only three of them that you have to hit. And providing I get through these trees here with no issues. The other two times I did it, there was over seven. I had issues getting through there, kept getting stuck. So it looks like I made it. straight down the mountain. Come over here to our next left hand turn. I'm at five minutes. And this turn is kind of tricky to get it right. And the next flag is just right up here but it is hard to get to. And the problem is you bottom out. You get high centered. Come on. And these trees will not help you. I'm trying to hook onto them doesn't do you any good. So it's just wiggling through here.
Oh, I'm gonna beat my time. There we go, and I've been promoted. Hot diggity dog. So this so far is the uh, most paying of the contests, and you also get a lot of experience with it. So all that would be required of me now, if I wanted to do it again, was to get turned around and head back over here, refuel if I need fuel, back up here and start it again. So it does pay pretty good and I'm going to come back to this uh, over time and try to do at least a couple of times a week come over here and do this so I can get some extra money and some extra experience. <clears throat> but for right now we have something else to do. So I'm going to recover this and I'm going to retain it, check my global map again, make sure I don't have any trucks. Nothing there. The curtain side trailer is a mission trailer, so I couldn't keep it. The scout, mission scout, couldn't keep it. And White Valley, I'm going to leave one fuel carrier and the other one is uh, it says it's for a mission but I don't know and these two were missions so I don't get to keep them so now we get to move to the drowned lands alright so we got a garage over here we have three watchtowers So, I believe, I believe I'll go right. So we will head this way. Oh, I was looking at that, I thought that might be a truck. I have no idea where the vehicles are in this game. Uh, I don't know where anything is, basically. Looks like a trailer there. Just want to take a quick look at the map. Okay, so I think I will go right first. And let's map it. Oh, I got to accept it. Never mind. Sorry. Got to go in the garage first. <clears throat> I got a little excited. Come on. There we go. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get the load star out for now and leave the garage. Good. There's a trailer store here. I don't know what the fuel situation is. So I am going to go ahead and look around, see if there might be a fuel trailer here. Don't see one offhand. So let's go ahead and buy one of those. And let's move out into the land. Don't see anything there? A lot of junk laying around. Ok, 
Okay, and I believe... Oh, that house just looked weird. It's got a really bright roof on it. Um, these must go to other places. But what I want to do first... There's a trailer. And uh, there's another trailer. Okay, so what I want to do first is I want to open up roads. Or open up, uh, get watchtowers and then open up roads. And I'm thinking... Come up there. Got a mission? Uh, one of our oil tanks ended up in the deep water on its way to the gas station. Can you wait in there and retrieve it? Uh, then transport it home. Well, sure I can. Not right now. Oh, oh, oh. One of the things I meant to do. Let's stop engine. And let's go back to the garage. And let's go into the truck store. All right. So I can buy, excuse me, I can buy vehicles. I think this is supposed to be a good one. Wow, look at those tires. Like I said, I haven't watched uh, maybe two people play on Russia. I have seen some Russian vehicles. Uh, but I haven't really watched people play in them. Oh, and get Snow Runner for it, too. I don't think you need anything other than those... No, oh, these are mud tires. Oh, and it's got chain tires, too. What can I get for frame? Get a roof rack. I have to... You know, that might be... something that I can do. Okay, so I can... F Let's see what all trucks I can find. So it looks like all of these I can buy. So I am looking for this truck, Dan, and Step, Tega, Tuz. I did see somebody playing that one. And I want to find that one. So I can't buy any trucks. Any American trucks here. So I can find one, two, three, four, five. I can find five trucks. And let's see how the load star does on this map. And um, it's getting on night, so I want to go to daytime. Since I am on a new map. I'm kind of wary about um, the roof racks right now. Oh, you also notice that uh, I took the big maintenance 
box off the back of it. I was trying to do one of the time challenges and the truck just would not go. Uh, it was the one where you have to climb the mudslide and I got to thinking with that big, you know, I've got a lot of repair points on it because I had to repair it. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of repair points. I bet that's a lot of weight. So I took it back to the garage and took the big box add-on off of it. I'm still running chain tires. That's not very good. Though I believe these tires did say that it was good in the mud and snow. And I'm going to go ahead and change it out anyway. While I'm here. I'm not too far away. So it says mud good. Off-road excellent. And ice excellent. Yeah, I want uh, excellent for the mud. And I'm going to hang on to the snow tires in case I need to go back. It's awful foggy here. Yeah, I'm going to have to remember the vehicles that I'm going to use here. I've got to change over the tires. I'm trying to keep it a little bit low in case I see something. <clears throat> Camera, that is. Keep it kind of low. Still good. Yeah, I meant to change over all the tires uh, before I started stream, but I was a little bit excited about coming over here. And I had seen other people using this truck here. And they seem to be doing pretty good with it. And mine just wasn't really doing very well. But since I put the pickup bed on it, uh, it does, the truck does a lot better. I'm just going to pay attention to where I'm going. Stop looking in the woods so much because I can always look at the map and see if I can find vehicles and trailers and stuff like that. Oh, that's not a very good bridge. that one's worse so crossroads up here I don't know it looks like the right path is the better path No 
idea what that says. Maybe the right path wasn't the best path. Okay, so that goes up there. Since I'm close, I might as well go up there and see what it is. Cabin in the woods, maybe? Pumpkins. I'll smash pumpkins later. I'm going to take a quick look around. I like when I open up the maps to uh, just spend, you know, five minutes or so just looking around the map in the map view and seeing what all I can find. Oh, I was uh, saying about the uh, pickup truck bed. It actually has some repair points. So it carries 150 and three tires. And I still have the other bed, the maintenance add-on. And if I need it for a mission, I can always put it back on. We got rain. Didn't see a lot of snow showers in Alaska. And I think they're kind of missing out a little bit. Um, Alaska would be a good area to put in a blizzard. You know, whiteout conditions. Where you barely see anything, you got to go by your waypoints. That would be pretty cool. Oh, easy there. I wonder. No. So I need to go to the left. And it just takes me around to the other road. One I decided not to take. Uh -oh. I like the Lodestar, and I like it even better now that I put the pickup bed on it. I think this is the other road. 
<clears throat> I don't know if it's the map, but everything seems washed out. Uh, Color-wise, kind of hard to see too far in front of you. Maybe it's like a fog weather thing. Okay, so this does lead to the watchtower. Not too far away from it. I'm actually glad I brought the fuel tanker. I am not seeing much out this way. There's something down there. Something man-made. Up oh, here's my watchtower. Trying to get that um, big old sign off the top of my head there. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to go up to the right. Let's go ahead and refuel. Still shows it in liters. Okay, so how far to the right? Yeah, it looks like I should be able to get up through there. Uh-oh. Oof. Thought my trailer was going to go bye-bye on me. Hey, let's just try to climb. And hope I don't roll it. Because it doesn't look like a lot of winch points here. Oh, I like how the boards move. Tearing up their footpath. Upgrade and objectives. So we'll let it run through it. Wow, a lot of objectives. Okay, so let's take a look at our map. Ooh, gateway to quarry. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up in here. Here's our upgrade. Got 
got something over here. Got a trailer. Just looking real quick for vehicles. Big old rock. Here's a vehicle. I don't know if I can have it or not. It's Farm Swim. Crap. So where is Farm Swim? I don't know, we'll get to it. Right now, open up maps. Now, let's see if I can get back down here. Oh yeah, no problem. one of my favorite parts of the game is going around opening up maps And make sure I don't roll off this mountain or lose the trailer. And just in case, I'm going to fill it up every time it gets 10 gallons low. There was, yeah, to the right. And I've also got a mission here. So am I being pranked? Seriously, another shipment of bricks has been lost on its way to the warehouse. If I was a betting man, I'd say it was sabotage. Get out there, find me that cargo, and get it to the warehouse. I can do that. So 
I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to open up. Ooh, what's up here? Can I go in there? Nope, it's like the tunnel. I'm just going to jump to the map. Wait a minute. Passage seems to be blocked for now. Okay. Yeah, so much for opening up the map. It's not going to let me do any studying. Should tell me what I need to do in order to unlock it. But it might be like uh, Alaska. I've got to be on the other side to do something. So we had that one tunnel going to White Valley. Where do you lead? I think that's the way I want to go. Got a fuel station. What is retired? Yes, it's not going to show me those until I click on them, or until I actually uh, get to them. So this one was, oh, there's one of his bricks. So let's go down here and hit the farm swim. No, wait a minute, farm swim. But it should have a box there that I can take a look at it. Oh, and there's some mud. Okay, so it is a truck. And I think I'm going to bring something with a little more meat on the bone. Go over and take a look at that. Oh, a tractor. Time challenge. So you are a good driver, true, but you, but are you an exceptional driver? Yes. They then prove it to me. There are five points. Reach all of them in sequence. The faster you do it, the higher the reward. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Okay, we're not going to do it yet. We're in exploration mode. What is this? Ah, oh, fuel station. Okay. Uh, I don't believe you can pick up any Doritos here. Got another mission. Nope, that's an unloading area. swampy area down there. Yep, 
don't know what that says. But that is a road I need to go down. Let's go up this way. And I've got an upgrade over here. Uh, we'll worry about the upgrades. Here in just a bit. Yeah, even with a fuel trailer on the back of here, this thing still handles better than it does with the uh, big maintenance trailer on it. Oh, it's not going to let me. I forgot. I have to bring a big truck over here to find out what I can load. <laughs> this trailer is going to be junk when I'm done with it. Okay, so I need to go to the right. What is that? I don't know. It will require a little more exploration. Looks like whatever those are. Maybe pipes and junk of the tractor. Come on, baby, you can climb out. from telephone pole. Oh. That was a deep one. Actually, let's go and attach it to the other side. You know, it would be interesting to see if I can do all of the missions with just American trucks. Okay, so where am I going now? Looks like I'm going straight ahead. So 
Sorry about the map. Ooh, I got a truck here. Go straight ahead and then make a right up here. Here, cuckoo bird. So I did notice uh, I was hauling some bricks for a mission and since the update I could actually hear the bricks clanging together. Which kind of got annoying there for a, after a bit. But one of those little things that they've added to the game. And I don't know if it's just I didn't notice it or... Yep, there's a truck down there. Or it's something that was added uh, with the last update. There, no! Come on! There's nothing to winch to either. Whatever that is. Okay, so let's detach trailer. And let's try Attaching the winch at a different point. Oh, and it's not going to let me. So release winch. Attach winch. So that's just to the trailer. something else there. Don't know what it's attaching to. Something... Let's try the back. Yeah, right there. It's like a root or something. Whatever it is, it's pretty strong. Um, let's try something different. Let's open the, there it goes. Yeah, get the trailer jammed in there. Get me turned around a little bit. Is that the top one? Yep. Well, whatever I was connecting to is no longer there. So, let's try the trailer. going to have to recover back to the garage. Kind of hoping to get the trailer jammed into a place. Uh, 
Maybe I can roll the truck over. Try one more time. Not gonna do it. Well, we did a little bit. Um, that's okay, because I guess I can go back the other way and try that out. And then come back over here and rescue my trailer later on. So I think that will do me uh, for this episode. So if you liked the episode, leave a like. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know anything I can improve on. I would appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. And we will finish getting these watchtowers. And then see if we can find any other gateways. Uh, I believe... Look here. Yeah, so there's only one going to the quarry, and from the quarry you can either go to Drownlands, Zemnogorsk, and the Rift. All right. So I will see you in the next one. So until then, have a good one.